Okay, I want to see if I can do a reading, if these cards will work, to do a reading to see first how Trump's speech is going to be received. <laughs> and then after that, on Stacey Abrams, how her speech will be received. <clears throat> Oh, mercy. <clears throat> Well, <clears throat> what we have is starting out alchemy, you know, the speechwriters are going to be trying to write out like he's bringing some, you know, they're going to bring some presentation, some sort of, you know, well, this is what we need. Rapidly, we need to come to temperance. We need to to come to, you know, and I think that's maybe what his speech was originally. You know, we need to work together, both sides, both areas need to work together. Of course, just to uh, do his bidding, to make these changes, alchemy, okay. But then as the speech goes on, <laughs> grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith. You know, <laughs> take a leap of faith, you know, listen to me, trust me. I think he needs to go back to Kwai Chung Kang's, uh, Kwai Chung Kang's uh, mentor and become the grasshopper, grasshopper. When you can snatch the pebble from my hand, then you have finished. It is time for you to go, grasshopper. Yeah, he needs some grasshopper spirit there, a leap of faith. But his leap of faith is nothing, just strong arming, sitting there, you know, I'm the ruler, you need to listen to me. <laughs> I'm wearing the crown, I don't care if I'm grasshopper or if I'm thing, I've got the crown, okay, I am. The <laughs> uh, that's not going to go over well, <laughs> okay. His speech is not going to go over well. People are going to be tuned out. It's like, no. And then last but not least, here we come. Eagle spirit, <clears throat> you know, rushing in, but not in a good way. You know, he says, I, I want the speech harder on the Democrats. 
I want to go in fighting. Remember the eagle on his desk? <laughs> he got near that eagle and he's like, yeah. <laughs> anyway, his true colors are going to come out yet again. You know, again, trying to chain people to his will. And again, promoting fear and delusion and illusion. Okay, that's it. It's not going to be the ego of our country, although he's going to talk about our country, but it's all going to be his usual ego-based drama and crap and fantasy that he's got going. Oh, Lord have mercy. This is going to be some speech. I'm sure that, you know, whoever's writing his speech is trying to make it sound like he's somewhat balanced. But uh, who knows if he'll actually stay reading the speech, which you can tell when he's reading the speech. He can barely, he can barely read the prompter. Um, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. My cards, I'm losing my cards. Come out, come out, come out. Don't go down there. Whoa, I almost lost some cards. <clears throat> so let me get these put away and we'll do Stacy Abrams I'm sure it's got to be better than that that was pitiful in other words he's going to try to stir up the passion and it's going to be pitiful and you'll just see him again as the idiot that he is <laughs> yeah he's thinking this is so great yeah I'm going to give you my great State of the Union. How wonderful, how, how wonderful I'm doing. I've done such great things for the country. Just trust me. And the Democrats, you know, they want sex trafficking. They want all those things. They need to work with me. We can work together if they just capitulate and give me every damn thing I want and not ask for anything. <laughs> We can work together as long as they don't ask for something for the dreamers and they're willing to give me all the money for the wall. <laughs> okay. God. Idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all I can say. He's an idiot. That's his idea of a deal. Roll over, play dead. You know, he's used to dealing with these little companies that think they're going to get something from him. So they'll agree to anything. You know, they'll sign a contract and then he doesn't pay or he doesn't follow through on it on anyway. He gets what he wants and then says, forget you. You know? <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> foolish man that he is <clears throat> we'll see if I can actually get through the whole Trump speech can usually watch the first couple minutes of it and then I start getting ill. <laughs> it <was> like, Ooh. <laughs> the more you watch him, the more the stomach turns and you just like, I can't, you know, it's just such nonsense. He wants something that sounds tough and presidential. <laughs> He's got like a third grade reading level. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, this is starting out interesting. <clears throat> we'll see if, uh, any of these readings jive with what's going to take place tonight. It'll be interesting to see. Yeah. 
Okay. <clears throat> well, her reading looks a lot better. Let's see what we've got. First, we have dependability. She's going to talk about dependability, unlike what Trump's been offering <laughs> with whatever he can get away with. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. You know, with their trips and their things that they've done, you know, she's going to say that we need to start talking about dependability and get rid of the corruption. Okay, get rid of the corruption and all of that drama. So she's going to talk for that, but also pull no punches, I think, about what's going on with Trump and what the Republicans have been getting away with when it comes to you know, taking the children away from the parents and shutting down the government and all this other stuff that they've used, okay? We need dependability, okay? Um, next is lion spirit. Be generous of spirit. Again, she's going to talk about temperance, you know, give and take. We need to take care of the people. We need some kind of angel power here at the moment. Okay, there's a road that leads to, to good things, but you've got to be willing to walk the road because people are hurting. People are hurting. So we need to start being generous of spirit. We need to get things balanced. We need to get things, you know, start taking care of people. And I think that, you know, part of this has to do with, and you'll see from the last card as well. Um, well, I'll show you the last card as well. And I think that this ties in the giveaway, ties into, um, you know, uh, Medicaid, Medicare, uh, also, um, you know, again, just giving away, government helping people. You know, we need to have the hope. But then this is also my card for Trump, you know. And rather than what Trump is doing, looking to his future, we need to look to the future as a giveaway to give to uh, the people that are, like it says over here, hurting. We need to be generous of spirit. Have the giveaway. Government needs to step up. And rather than, you know, giving more money to those like Trump and to, you know, what he was doing off to Russia and all of this drama. We need to have the giveaway and have hope for the people and look towards the future to make it better, okay? And that's going to take cleaning up the corruption, cleaning up the corruption that's been going on and having some dependability. So it looks like her speech is going to be <clears throat> more... Uh, on um, getting together, getting things together, working together, taking care of people, and getting rid of this, you know, Trump Trumpism with only taking care of the wealthy and the rich. So, um, so I think she's going to talk about cleaning up things, and again, you know, taking care of people that need it. <clears throat> rather than taking care of the wealthy that don't need it. We need to get our priorities straight. So Trump, again, is going to be the big BS, trust me, and we can work together as long as you do everything the way I want it. <laughs> and you ask for nothing in return and put me on a pedestal and say, oh, king, you know, then it'll all go well. <laughs> Whereas Stacey Abrams will be talking about we need to get our act together, we need to be dependable, we need to be generous of spirit, we need to take care of those that, you know, and open the borders for those that want to come in and help people. You know, we need to get back to the basics of what our country was founded on. You know, that we are supposed to be the land of hope and the land of, of uh, opportunity. <clears throat> so she's going to want to see that go forward. And Trump's going to get his usual spin of uh, erroneous bullshit, <laughs> basically. Put your waders on. It's going to get deep when Trump gets in there. That's all I can say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
in one hand, he's going to want to schmooze. In the other hand, he's going to want to, you know, tell the Democrats they're all a piece of shit because they're not doing, not giving him his wall. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, wall or nothing. National emergency. You know, I don't care how much that the Democrats are offering border security. I want my Fakaka wall. And I don't care. You know, I don't care what happens to anybody else. I want my damn wall because I'm paranoia shit. <laughs> That's him. He's just so paranoid. Orange Oompa Loompas. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Have a great evening. I'll see you online. We'll see if the cards um, have caught on to anything that's going to happen or if it's total nonsense. We'll find out soon. Have a great evening. See you online. Aho.